Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about trauma toads of minor importance, which include fasciola hepatica, fasciola psasbusci, heterophys, heterophys. That is a continuation of parasitology series, especially the trauma toad series. I've talked about trauma toads in detail in one of my recent videos. But the good news is that I'll review that all for you today there in this video. Before starting the video, I like to tell that these videos are meant for educational purposes. Things and treatments may change with time. If I get wrong or miss anything, your input is always welcomed in the comments section. Have a cup of tea and let's get started. Trematodes. Trematodes are flukes. These are parasitic flay worms. They belong to the class Trematoda and the phylum Platyhelminthes. They have intricate life cycle with at least two hosts. One is definitive and the other one is intermediate host. The primary host is vertebrate. They reproduce sexually. Here you can see that flakes look like a leaf. Trematodes are found in gastrointestinal tract and biliary tract blood vessels, lungs, and bladder. Traumatodes means the flukes are classified as luminal and tissue traumatodes. Lecture outline. I have introduced you guys to the traumatodes. Now we'll talk about the classification of parasite and traumatodes in detail. Then we will go towards the actual topic of today's video that is the traumatodes of minor importance. Parasite. As we all know that parasite is an organism that depends on other organisms for its shelter. I have detailed video on introduction to parasites, find its link in the description or in the top right corner. Parasite is further classified into two main classes. First one is protozoa and the other one is helminthes. Uh, the example of protozoa include um, Antamoeba histolytica and for helminths, let's consider Diphylobothrium. Helminths are further classified as platyhelminthes. The word platy means flat and helminths is the word used for worms. So platyhelminthes are the flat worms. For example, Tinea saginata. And nematodes, these are the round worms. Platyhelminthes are further classified as cestodes, which are tapeworms, and trematodes, which are flukes. Cestodes and trematodes are further classified as cestodes into tinea, for example, tinea solium and tinea saginata, then into diphylobothrium latum, echinococcus granulosus. Trematodes are further classified as schistosoma, clonarchis, paragonimus. I've talked about them. You can check out my channel for that. But today we are going to talk about trematodes of minor importance, which include fasciola hepatica, fasciola obsesperski, heterophys, heterophys. Stages in the life cycle of a trematode. First stage is egg, then comes the larvae. Larvae has certain stages, I'll talk about that a bit later. And the third stage is adult flute. You can visualize the different stages of a life cycle of a trematode. Here is the egg. Then these three represent the larvae. First one is myrosidium, this one is sporocyst, and the third one is cercarium. This is the adult fluke. It has both the male and the female genders in one body. That is why it is termed as hermaphroditic adult fluke. Let's start with the traumatodes of minor importance. First one is fasciola. Its full name is fasciola hepatica. It is also known as common or sheep liver fluke. It is responsible for causing fasciolosis. You can visualize that in the picture. Morphology. It is 30 millimeters long and 13 millimeters wide. It is leaf shaped, it is pointed at back at this posterior end and is wide at front at this anterior end. It has small oral sucker at the end of a cone shaped projection. Acetabulum is a larger sucker than the oral sucker. You can see this is the oral sucker and this is the acetabulum. Acetabulum helps it to attach to the host body. Habitate. Humans and other domestic animals or mammals, for example, sheep. Transmission. Transmission occurs by eating watercress or other aquatic plants or by eating raw sheep liver. Epidemiology. Fasciola hepatica causes infection in sheep and domestic animals in Latin America, Africa, Europe and China. 
Life cycle. Life cycle of fasciola hepatica has two stages. First one is human cycle, we'll start it there, and then comes the snail cycle. After completion of human cycle, we will discuss the snail cycle. Humans are infected by eating watercress or other aquatic plants contaminated by larvae. Which stage of larvae? The metacercariae. Then they exist in the duodenum. Then it reaches the liver to get mature into adults because it is in the larval stage. It matures into hermaphroditic adults. As we discussed earlier, hermaphroditic means that both the male and female genders exist in one body. Hermaphroditic adults in bile ducts produce eggs and then these eggs are excreted in the feces. Eggs hatch in fresh water and on hatching, myrosidium comes out. Then the myrosidia enter the snail's body. Then the snail cycle starts. Myrosidia develop into cercariae and cyst on aquatic vegetation, sheep, and humans eat the plants, thus completing the life cycle. Diagrammatic representation of life cycle of fasciola hepatica. It starts here, when the unembryonated eggs are passed in feces of human or sheep. Eggs become embryonated in fresh water. Then the myrosidia hatch from the eggs. It seek out snail intermediate host and it then penetrates their myrosidium, then gets converted into cercaria by getting through the stages porosis, redia, and then into this free swimming cercaria. This free swimming cercaria insist on aquatic vegetation, meta cercaria on vegetation ingested by the definitive host human beings or maybe the sheep by eating raw sheep or the aquatic vegetation human can get the infection the immature flukes exist in the duodenum penetrate the intestinal wall and migrate through the liver parenchyma to the biliary ducts and then the adult flukes in the hepatic biliary ducts release the eggs and then the cycle is repeated all over again clinical findings Symptoms are due to the presence of adult worms in the biliary tract. This disease is mostly asymptomatic, but right upper quadrant pain can occur. Why? Because the liver resides in the right upper quadrant, the right hypochondrium. Fever, hepatomegaly can occur. Months or years later, obstructive jaundice can occur. Health zone. Health zone is a painful pharyngitis caused by the presence of adult flukes on the posterior pharyngeal wall. Diagnosis. We will need sample of feces. Diagnosis is made by identification of eggs in the feces under microscope. There's no serologic test. The drug of choice is triclobendazole. Adult flukes in the pharynx and larynx can be removed surgically. Prevention. Prevention involves not eating wild aquatic vegetations or raw sheep liver. Next trematode is Fasciolopsis. Its full name is Fasciolopsis pusci. It is an intestinal parasite of humans and pigs. It is responsible for causing Fasciolopsiasis. Here you can see Fasciolopsis pusci. Morphology. It is large dorsal ventrally flattened it is characterized by a blunt anterior end undulating unbranched cica sac like cavities with single openings tandem dendritic testes branched ovaries ventral suckers to attach itself to the host habitat uh, it has humans and pigs uh, as it hosts transmission occurs by eating aquatic vegetation Epidemiology. Facial lapsus busci is an intestinal parasite of humans and pigs that is endemic to Asia and India. Life cycle. It has two stages, human cycle and the snail cycle. Humans are infected by eating aquatic vegetation that carries the cysts. After existing in the small intestine, parasites attach to the mucosa and differentiate into adults. Eggs are passed in feces. On reaching fresh water, they differentiate into myrosidia. The ciliated myrosidia penetrate the snails. 
here the snail cycle starts after several stages they develop into cercaria that insist on aquatic vegetation the cycle is completed when plants carrying the cysts are eaten clinical findings Pathologic findings are due to damage of intestinal mucosa by other flukes. Most infections are asymptomatic, but ulceration, abscess formation, and hemorrhage can occur. Diagnosis will need sample of feces, and diagnosis is based on finding typical eggs in the feces. Treatment. Praziquantel is a treatment of choice. Prevention. Prevention consists of proper disposal of human sewage. The third trematode is heterophyes. Its full name is heterophyes heterophyes. It is a minute intestinal fluke. It is responsible for causing heterophyesis. Morphology. It is 1.4 mm into 0.5 mm wide and 1 to 2 mm long. It is covered with scale like spikes. It has two suckers, one is oral and one is ventral, which is termed as acetabulum, because acetabulum helps in attachment of a parasite to the host. Habitat. Humans uh, transmission occurs by eating raw fish or aquatic vegetation. Epidemiology. Heterophyes heterophyes occurs in people living in Africa, Asia, Middle East. Life cycle. It has two stages. First one is human cycle, then comes the snail cycle. Let's start with the human cycle first. When raw fish containing cysts are eaten, larvae exist in the small intestine, attached to the mucosa and develop into adults. Eggs are passed in the feces. Eggs were released by the adult. And on reaching the brackish water, uh, these are ingested by snails. After several developmental stages, cercaria are produced that insist under the skills of certain fish. The cycle is completed when fish carrying the infectious cysts are eaten. Thematic representation of life cycle of heterophyes, heterophyes. It starts here when embryonated eggs, uh, each with a fully developed myrosidium, are passed in feces. Then snail host ingest eggs. Uh, Marasidia emerge from eggs and penetrate the snail intestine. And then it gets converted uh, from Marasidia into sporocytes, then into radii, then into cercaria. And then these cercaria are released from the snail. These uh, cercaria penetrate the skin of the fi fresh brackish water fish and insist as metacercaria in the tissue of the fish. The host becomes infected by ingesting undercooked fish containing metacercaria. A host can be humans, dogs, cat, or some birds. Fish eating mammals and birds can infect as well. And inside the um, small intestine of human beings, the metacercaria accessed and uh, it gets converted into adults in the small intestine. Then it releases the eggs and the cycle is repeated again. Clinical findings. Pathologic findings are due to inflammation of intestinal epithelium as a result of presence of adult flakes. Most infections are asymptomatic, but abdominal pain and non-bloody diarrhea can occur. Diagnosis. We'll need sample of feces and diagnosis is based on finding typical acts in the feces. Treatment. Praziquantel is a treatment of choice. Prevention. Prevention consists of proper disposal of human sewage. For today's video, before ending the video, I would like to announce something good for you. That is, I started uploading free handouts of this parasitology series. You can find this by clicking on the link in the community tab, just like that. I've got my Instagram where I upload amazing infographics. For example, take this one where I uploaded resources for pathology, which books, which online resources, YouTube channels, websites, apps, cards, uh, the flashcards you can use. I've got my Twitter and I rarely upload blogs, so do check them out. Till next time, assalamu alaikum.